and if you want to search for any tool you can just type it here like for instance here's the act 2 from runway in this video we're going to use a new tool that i started using last month and it's being an upgrade to my workflow and that tool is Weeby. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but um, that's how I pronounce it. For me, it's been such a game changer because I used to use different models from different services, and now I can use everything in just one platform. You can find the main tools here. If you just scroll the up or down, you can see a different array of tools. This is the quick access tool. And if you want to search for any tool, you can just type it here. Like for instance, here's the Act 2 from Runway. And you can see there's another models there. Now, like if you if we want to import an image, we can just drop this here and then we can just select an image. In this case, I'm going to use a video because I already have a video of this. I want to create a creative transition with two frames. And for that, we're going to use uh, two videos. So I open the first image and I'm going to import another one. So we have these three videos here and I want to create transitions, creative transitions between them. Uh, to extract the last keyframe from each video, we need to go to tools, editing and extract video frame. In that way, we're going to get like, for example, the frame 127 and then, then you just need to do a right click and an an export. We just type the, we just type each frame. And now we have a PNG file. We can just drag and drop too. That works as well. And now you can notice that this is not a video as, uh, because we already extracted the keyframe that we needed. And we can repeat the same process in so now we have the two images that we need, and now um, we're going to use um, we're going to use Cling to do a creative creative transition between them. And for that, we're going to g give it a right click and then video models generate from text or image, and then we can select either Cling first and last frame and now we can just grab our images and put it next to each other. So we have our own uh, workflow, um, a clean workflow. And now we just say what's the first frame and what's the last frame. And again, right click, prompt, and let's do a prompt. And now we just run the model. We connect everything and we run the model. And it's going to cost us 45 credits. And that's not very expensive. If you ask me, that's very good. Um, what I like about Weavy in general is that you can um, create your own workflows and like, have uh, creative um, ideas along the way and maybe uh, dif doing different things without going from one platform to another. Um, <clears throat> while we wait for the result, let's create another prompt. 
I'm going to give a uh, right click and then and then tools and editing extract video frame let's repeat the process very quickly Now, if you just uh, leave the frame by zero, it's not gonna it's not gonna work. You need to put the first frame, frame one, and now you have your image. I'm gonna drag and drop, and now I'm going to do an animation with the last frame of this video. We just go to frame 124 and I can just leave this as export. It's going to serve me as well. And now we have our two images that we're going to use for this new transition. Now let's, let's connect the dots. And you can also copy and duplic duplicate the prompts so you can do the same prompt on different models. And you can do also negative prompts, but in this case, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I'm gonna make the animation. There is one animation that's already, that's ready. So let's check it out. I, uh, that's, that's very cool. I kind of like it. It's interesting. Now, the second one, it's already done. So let's check it out. Oh, that's, that's really cool. Uh, if you like this content, please consider subscribing, give it a like, and um, if you want to try out some of these tools, I'm gonna link, uh, I'm gonna let the link in the description. Uh, some of these links are affiliate links, so if you use them, you help out the channel, and I will love you forever. That'll be it for today. I hope to see you in the next one, and peace.